joining us via Skype, via satellite, live, I think from home, we're going to ask him here in a second, is the 2015 Bassmaster Classic champion, Casey Ashley. Woo! Casey Ashley, everybody. The champ. Casey, how are you? What's going on, Ash? How you doing tonight? Good. How about you? Yeah. Good. Are you home, or yeah, do they have you? Show, to be honest with you. I know for a fact that we've already heard a lot about the bait and the technique. We're going to see it uh, on, on the show here in, in, in a week or so this weekend coming up. Tell us a little bit more. For, for a lot of the viewers who aren't the hardcore fish heads who are watching every photo and watching every clip, tell us a little bit more about that technique. Because it was, when I watched it, I was super impressed because I fished, I fished a fish head spin before. I fished it for years, but but I saw you do something with it that was very unique. Tell us a little bit about the bait and and how you were fishing it because that that I think is interesting. You know, around here, that, that's that's been big for many many years. There's been a lot of tournaments won with that bait, a lot of money won on that bait. You know, but on the herring lakes, it, it's a big deal in cold water. Uh, um, you know, and everybody, they think of it as, as catching schooling fish or suspended fish. But one thing I figured out over the years, those fish get educated, you know, especially when they see the same old thing over and over. Um, you know, I, I like to keep it as a finesse bait. That's why I was putting the Zoom Super Fluke Junior on it. Uh, it's not, it's not, has, it, it has very little action, actually. Um, but it's a, it's a slow water, cold weather bait. But, you know, the one thing that I figured out, you know, a lot of guys use it and they try to play it on the bottom. Of the, if you can stand the fish at that slow, um, you know, it's kind of aggravating and you'll kind of lose interest in it if you, if you go for so so long without a bite because you're having to fish it so slow, you can't cover very much water. You pretty much yeah. have to be very confident in it. You know, I was and you know, fishing it on the bottom like that, something not a lot of guys do even around here, but it allows you to catch those fish after they go down if they are schooling. Now, did you have, I know a lot of guys that fish at fish head spin add a trailer hook to the blade or they put a little stinger on it. Did you do any of that nonsense or did you just fish it just with that single hook? No, it's, it's standard. It's got a single hook on it. The the key to a blade runner, you call it a fish head, I like a blade runner. Uh, that is, is being being very patient. You know, a lot of times, you know, you'll get three or four bites on that thing before the fish actually eats it. Yeah. Uh, what they're doing is swatting at that. the blade, swatting at the bait. And a lot of times it's, you know, uh, you got to envision, I vision in my mind, my, ba my blade's down there, you know, and it's, you're working it super slow. Well, those fish are just sharking up behind it like a, like a wolf pack you see going down the bank. And it just takes a while for one to commit to it. And he runs up there and knocks it sideways, tries to kill it, and that fires the rest of them. So a lot of times, you know, you get those four or five bites in a row before one actually eats it. That, I think that's what's going yeah. on. I stayed, we were watching the live feed. That was so awesome watching you. We had it. Uh, uh, this is Pete, by the way, Casey. And uh, we were in the in the in booth at the classic, and we had our screen with the live feed going, and we saw exactly what you're describing. It must have been a half a dozen times where there, where he would set the hook on a on a bite, and two or three cranks later, boom, you'd be locked up. Uh, that was really neat to have that. Yeah. You know that that calmness to be able to ha n hang yeah, in there and tough. wait for that second and that's third strike. Yeah, that's a fun bite, man. And and when it when it comes together like that, you know, I never would have dreamed. You know, it would have came together for the Bassmaster Classic. But, you know, most <laughs> time it happens on days you go out and you know you're just fun fishing. Nasty days. You know, I, I couldn't have ordered up any better weather for the final day of the Classic because that is that is perfect. That's what you need to be able to do that all day long. And you know it. it like I said, I couldn't have wrote it down any better. Yeah, that that actually leads. We're gonna we we've, we've got all these questions coming in, Casey, from uh, from viewers of the show, and that leads to one of these questions. And we have uh, Jake has a question for you from State Farm. From <laughs> Jake from State Farm has a question for you, and he wants to know. Does he wears his khakis. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> he has his khakis on. He wants to know: Did you in fact pay Mother Nature? For the cold weather that came in, <laughs> is that true? Did you write Mother Nature a check for that cold weather? Or? 
<laughs> you know, I, I wanted cold weather, but I got a little more than I bargained for. I've never had to deal with that, you know, in South Carolina. And I don't, I don't think anybody's ever had to deal with that cold of conditions in a classic. It was, it was brutal. Has your life changed? Do you feel it now? Because it's gonna if it hasn't. But, but do you feel right now like your life has changed? It has, for sure. You know, I, I definitely got a lot busier. You know, that's that's the first thing that I've noticed. But, yeah. You know, it's a it's a lifelong dream. You know. Yeah. And it's something that that no one can ever take away from it. The old the old trophy. I seen it. You know, sitting right there beside you. You know, that's you're always gonna be able to hold that. Yeah. You know, look back on it and say, hey, hey, I accomplished this. But you know, as far as in the future, you know, I don't I don't know what doors it's gonna open for me. But you know, uh, for right now, I can tell you that. You know, I'll do the best of my ability to to be the representative of the sport. And, you know, I've looked up to you and a lot of other guys that stood in my shoes before. And, you know, I, I kind of see how the game works now. And it's uh, – I'm looking forward to it, man. This this year is going to be great. Um, you know, I always said I was great at fishing, you know, under pressure. Um, but this year is going to be the tail – tail's tail of that deal <laughs> you know you, you got, a, got a lot of a lot of commitments already and yeah you know as well as i do there's a lot of stuff you have to do outside of fishing and yeah you know the fishing part's easy yeah and i'm looking i'm looking forward to getting to sabine and and run around try not to run my boat up in the woods yeah no don't stay out of the woods <laughs> man that's a bad thing don't, stay yeah, in the water the, no matter how high the water level gets a few little ones down there that's mm-hmm. right that's right well that's the good the good thing is you know you're you're going to get the invite back you're the classic champ pressure's off for you to make right. the classic next year that's a great thing and and you know i, I honestly i i just would like to take this time to tell you I think you're going to be a great classic champ. You're going to be a great representative of the sport. But, you know, and well, I I've, I've had this conversation with almost every classic winner since I won, including Takahiro the year after and almost everyone since then. And I'm going to tell you the same thing too. And I and I I wanted to pull you aside when we were one on one, but I want to tell you this now. And you know, my my advice is this is a special opportunity. There are less than 40 guys walking the face of the earth that have this title. It's an amazing opportunity. Casey, grab it. Grab it. Take it. Take every opportunity you can from a business standpoint, from a personal standpoint. Enjoy it. Uh, you know, I, I look back on the year after my classic win, and it was crazy. It was maddening. It was tiresome. I, you know, I was, I was at the end of 12 months, I felt like I wanted to collapse, but I don't ever regret taking all those opportunities and, and really grabbing it by the horns. And I, I wish you would do the same, you know, and I think you're going to do a great job. Absolutely. You know, it's a, that's what everybody's told me. You told, you know, I talked to you a little bit backstage before we really ever even knew I won. Um, and since I won, I've talked to, you know, I talked to Van Damme talk to several guys and you know just trying to trying to get a feel of what i need to be ready for trying to prepare myself you know because it is i can see right now it's, it's going to be a it's going to be a uh, an eventful year <laughs> to say the least and i'm looking forward to it i'm ready I, just like you say you don't, you may only get one shot so i'm gonna make the best of it yeah yeah take take advantage of it and i already know pete's gonna bug you about speaking at a bash university next year so <laughs> <laughs> i've already i already hit yeah. him up at the uh champions see too. that you did i knew that <laughs> good job pete yeah. we'd love to have you speak for the bash university this year <laughs> that's awesome